Your Majesty, Gloucester has yielded his lands and titles to his firstborn son, Lawrence. <laughs> Can we, like, replace him with someone else, please? Mr. Draco, thank you so much for summoning at Tier 1. Greatly appreciated, brother. Thank you for the support. Enjoy your emotes and whatnot. However, the new Count Gloucester sustained grievous wounds during the battle. There is a chance he will never be able to take the field again. Good. As such, he claims he will focus on ruling Gloucester territory with the counsel of his father and younger siblings. In his stead, he will offer us soldiers for the war effort and expresses his immense desire to join the Empire. No doubt he wishes to make his loyalty plain by taking a clear stand against House Regan. It's a shame what happened to him. Well, I see no reason to reject his offer. See that his soldiers are properly integrated. As you wish, Your Majesty. Sometimes I have no idea what goes through your noble heads. How can you possibly trust a house that just plunged a knife into your back? If a merc pulled a stunt like that, they'd either be cast aside or cut down where they stood. I believe it, and I'd like to do the same. But not just anyone can hold Gloucester territory together. And I have no one else to take Lawrence's place. I suppose no one would put up with the aristocracy if it didn't afford some sort of stability. Yes. That is simply the way of things in Fodlan now. But as I've told you, I intend to change this. The age of deciding our rulers by blood must end. A day will come when anyone can vie for the right to rule, and then we will be free of this wretched system. So stand with me. Help me make it so. Scarlet Blaze. The Triumph of Valor. To rescue Count Burglies, Edelgard seizes the Great Bridge of Murden, forcing Count Gloucester's surrender. With no time to lose, she then presses on, unbowed. But Claude is not one to be caught off guard. He rallies every resource at his disposal, determined to tighten the noose around Burglies' forces and prevent any rescue. So we've lost Gloucester. Unavoidable, perhaps, but it still stings all the same. Fortunately, I haven't been sitting on my hands this whole time. If we smash the Imperial reinforcements and stop them from breaking the siege, Count Burglies will have no choice but to give up. We're going to face that challenge, and we're going to face it with the Alliance's latest and greatest, which is why I've asked all of you here. Did you really just say latest and greatest with a straight face? Let me recruit Lysithia, please. I know the odds of you letting me recruit Hilda are nearly zero. I still have a small hope of that, but I know it's not going to happen. But please just give me Lysithia. Oh, he said it all right. And while I can't swear we'll have that, we do at least have numbers on our side. Yep, more than half of the old Golden Deer House is here. Raphael must die. I would also like Mary. I just want all of the girls because I know Claude is impossible. And then all the Golden Deer guys, can they can just die. I want the dudes from Blue Lions and Black Eagles. Those are the good male characters in Three Houses. Give me Felix. I'll take Sylvain. I wouldn't mind taking Sylvain. Give me Felix for sure. Um, Dimitri dies. Uh, Dadu, he's whatever. Uh, and then I've already got most of the good dude characters on my team. Like, I've, I've already got Kaspar, and that's pretty much it. Kaspar, he's really all I need. Linhart's great. Cool dude. Hubert's fine. He's pretty neat. Ferdinand von Eyer is, like, one of the best. So, you know. Some of us may not be quite as great as you say, but... Well, you know best. I'm grateful to each of you for answering the call. I only wish all of us had lived to see this day. Oh, poor nuts. It isn't fair. No. About that. It pains me to say this, but House Ardelia has made its allegiance to the Empire clear. 
It was against my parents' protests that I came here in the first place. If this battle doesn't unfold the way you're hoping, I may be forced to leave as quickly as I arrived. That's okay, Lysithia. You're not the only one who's here with strings attached. Yes. My adoptive father has also insisted I return home at once, should the tides turn against us. Sounds about right. Three cheers for that good old Alliance Solidarity. I'll fight with you to the end, Claude! Uh... Unless it puts Maya in danger. Then I'm out. Look, what matters is that you're all here, and that we settle this war with the next battle. Also, for full disclosure, I may have sort of brought along some extra professional muscle. Come on in. Oh, no. Good to meet you. I'm the acting captain of Gerald's Mercenaries. Pilot, not again! Draco, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Greatly appreciated, man. Our guest here is fresh off another battle with the Empire on Kingdom soil. From what I gather, remaining in the Kingdom was no longer an option. And that's when our paths crossed here in Alliance territory. Oh, hello. I know reliable when I see it, and you are definitely that. I'll do whatever you ask, as long as I'm getting paid. So long as we're allied, I won't fail you. They gave, they gave Byleth a character in this game too? Dude, why did three houses screw it up so bad? All right, let's begin our council. As you've no doubt heard from our scouts, the path from here to Deirdre will be fraught with difficulties. The Alliance has constructed fortalices and palisades and laid other traps to slow our progress. In addition, they are plotting ambushes at key positions along the way. Needless to say, we will not be able to avail ourselves of the direct route. But if we try to dance around all their traps, we'll never make it in time. Yes, but this is Count Burgley's we're talking about. He could probably stretch his soldiers a few extra days through sheer force of will. I would normally write off such an idea as lunacy. But sadly, it will likely come to that. We have made attempts to smuggle provisions to Count Burgley's through holes in the enemy lines. But this has met with little success. They must be so hungry! I know just how that feels. The struggle to get food when all you want to do is hide under your covers. Hello, old friend. I mean, no offense, but if time is truly so short, why do we waste it dithering in council? We should embark on our rescue mission straight away. We, get, we can't go rushing in, otherwise we're going to make even more trouble, brother. I feel you, though. I feel you. How did Hubert put it again? We're here to break their siege, not fall prey to one. I agree. A hunter must never be losing sight of their calmness. Well said. Let's not allow Claude to wind us up. So we must take the safe route, but do so as quickly as possible. A best of both worlds situation, I suppose. Good. Oh, whoops. With that decided, let's move on and discuss our preferred formation. I tapped A by mistake. Uh, she was supposed to say understood there at the end, but we'll, we'll all just imagine that Monica said it. It's fine. Mr. Draco, thank you for another tier one gift sub. Greatly appreciated. Cool, those are some big spaces. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Five to go through before the chapter, just like the last one. Nobles who are not noble. You can now exchange for a wider variety of facility materials at the Supply Depot. How nice. New exam seals are available for purchase of the item. We can get to advanced classes now? I wasn't sure if that would happen for another chapter or two. Hold up. I'll start chatting with everyone in a minute. I gotta see about this. First of all, Supply Master, give me your finest the supplies. Are the lifeblood of any army. Thank you. Everything has its use. And then shop. Do you have advanced seals for sale? I carry a little of everything here. Oh! <laughs> You've got an eye for quality, oh, whoops! Got I meant to buy three. Quality, oh yes! Oh yes! 
I can't wait. Yo, that like 10% discount is pretty good. Hope to see you again soon. I know that Byleth is a uh, silent protagonist, like an insert character thing. Chat, like, d d does chat just think that I don't play video games or that I don't know video games sometime? Yeah, I know that Byleth is supposed to be like a self-insert character, like the Persona characters and all. I'm saying that those kinds of characters are stupid. And instead, they should just go straight into, like, giving them character and just playing from their perspective. Ah, fiery as ever. What an inspiring sight. Oh, hey, Ferdinand. You think so? The way I see it, a mercenary who doesn't train every day probably won't stay a merc for long. Hmm. I cannot dispute your logic. Though, I must say, you never did strike me as a typical mercenary. And your upward trajectory has proven me right. To go from nothing to a commander rivaling even the finest of nobles as quickly as you have is... astounding. You are the most intriguing man. Well, that's because I've made a habit of giving my all. I'm honestly just happy to have earned Edelgard's respect. You're all, you say. Something wrong? To the contrary. I find your attitude inspirational. We are birds of a feather, you and I. Every task I undertake must also be done to utmost perfection. Polishing my armor? It shall have a mirror sheen. Cooking a meal? Let not even a single ingredient go to waste. True nobility means surmounting any challenge before you with no less than every fiber of your being. Uh, that's taking it a little far, don't you think? Uh, maybe you're not wasting food, but what about your time and energy? And I'm not any sort of noble, you know? I am aghast! Are you suggesting that devoting myself fully to every endeavor is waste? I mean, yeah. Why does my finger keep twitching on A too early? I am aghast! Are you suggesting that devoting myself fully to every endeavor is wasteful? If you put your all into every little thing, you'll run out of stamina right when you need it most. You're like the knight in that proverb, the one who spends all day building a fence around his pegasus only for it to fly away. <laughs> Valuable advice for a pegasus, perhaps, but I am no beast. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. I, I had no idea. No point pressing him on that! I know that you're different. I do. But everyone needs to take it easy sometimes. If you always keep your bowstring taut, it's just gonna snap when you actually need to fire. I assure you, I am no bowstring either. But I take your point. However, there is no cause for concern. As I have told you on multiple occasions, I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Oh my word, I had no idea! You should have led with that, then we wouldn't have had to have this conversation. Whether I am resting, enjoying leisurely pursuits, or simply in contemplation, I always apply all my energy to the task at hand. At work, or at rest, I will forever give it my all. <laughs> Seriously? What's full-on resting even look like? Rank C, not bad. We're ready for rank B with Edelgard, but it's locked, so I guess we need to go further in the story before we can do that. Okay, okay. We're very close to our B rank with Happy, which is the first conversation we get to have with her. We have Balthus now, who wants to get straight into the action. We could probably get Balthus and Linhart in whatever the next fight is, most likely. Should be able to make that work. Alright, well, we gotta start a new chapter by talking to everyone. I'm sensing a little unity in the Alliance. What could be the reason? They are having many lords, but each of them are doing whatever they please. I'm wondering if a region requires a leader such as an emperor or other monarch in order to function. Gotta have someone pretty high up there in the food chain, but preferably without them having unlimited power. Nothing to report. Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. Count Bergliese's forces are right in front of us, but our march is going to still take a while longer. It's driving me up the wall. Sure wish there was something I could do. Well, I guess I'll just hunker down and keep on keeping on. No enemies are getting in here, I swear it. What a lad, that gatekeeper. Listen up. I think this might be my first time going into Alliance territory. 
It's fun to discover new things. Like, did you know there might be some trees that only grow here? You like trees? Hmm. Sure do. Or to be more specific, I like the berries that fall off of them. Or anything else that tastes good. Respectable. Very respectable. Good day to you. I am a Knight of House Gloucester. Lord Lorenz ordered me to come here and join your ranks. The previous Count Erwin was, has long desired to stand above the ruling House Regan. Though we now serve the Empire, it seems we are fated to share a relationship with their house. Indeed. Sometimes I wonder if this war is merely some grand opera that takes place on the stage of Fodlan. Oh no, Dorothy is becoming self-aware. It's a dramatic portrayal of life and death where everyone's hopes and dreams come crashing into one another. It's almost like we're part of someone else's script. I agree. Let's see. That kind of thing is a little above my pay grade, but I know plenty of people who claim every possible outcome is predetermined for us by the goddess. Okay, I wasn't... That's not what I meant. Well, if she's our scriptwriter, I sure hope we're serving as her protagonist. Don't worry, we are. This time. Hello, Manuela. La la la. Oh dear, so terribly sorry. Just checking the condition of my throat is all. Good voice. You have a beautiful voice, Manuela. Yeah, she was like part of the opera or whatever. Well, I'm delighted to hear you say that. All right, good talk, good talk. Got a sec. Hey, uh, I'm from Abyss, the place under Garrig Mock. Basically, I crawled out of the same hole as Happy and Constance. I'm here because the Imperial Army's recruiting bodies, but the pay is good and the rations are plentiful, so you won't hear me complain. Honestly, respectable. Quite respectable indeed. Who's in here? Constance. Hey, you. On to a different topic. This has nothing whatsoever to do with me, but I was incredibly relieved that House Gloucester did not meet with Ruin. I'm gonna guess. That reminds this have something to do with your house? Hmm. Please don't shout it aloud for the world to hear, though yes, you have seen to the core of me. Still, I feel certain that my house will see its own revival one day. Hopefully. Oh, we have a support conversation with you now. Let's go ahead and do that. To a different topic. Needless to say, that is the only logical course of action. Uh, excuse me, are you even listening? No. Uh, sorry, I got distracted and missed the last part. Something about your plan to restore House Nouvelle? That was where the conversation started. Clearly you have not listened to a single word I've said. Creating new magic, charting unknown sorcery waters. Therein lies the means to make my dream a reality. To that end, I have decided that you will make a most fitting test subject for my research. <laughs> no thanks. What reason could you possibly have to refuse? Do you not want the honor of helping House Nouvelle regain its former glory? I don't mind lending a hand, but I'm not so keen on being a test subject. You don't even know what'll happen. Wouldn't it make sense to experiment on yourself first? Huh. A rather astute deduction for one such as yourself. However, there is one critical flaw in your reasoning. Were I to do as you propose, I would be unable to properly observe the results with my own eyes. <laughs> well then, you'll just have to be patient until someone volunteers. We'd have a big problem on our hands if something happened to me before the next battle, right? Actually, that probably goes for everyone. I suppose you are correct. But then, my research has reached an impasse. Hmm, I guess so. Okay, how about this? Since we're at war, why not try and distinguish yourself in battle? You could still conduct your research at the same time. Combat's more my wheelhouse anyway. In fact, we could even start right now with some training. What do you say? Uh, I respectfully decline. While I am not entirely opposed to the idea of military prestige, I am unable to accompany you at this time. Training at night will surely suffice. At night? But you won't have enough time if you don't train during the day. You're not planning on pulling all-nighters, are you? Oh, please! I am not that foolish! I simply do not wish to train at this very moment. If you work out at night, that means you're going to bed right after. That's gonna reduce the quality of your sleep. You'll wake up sluggish the next morning, which will drag you down all day. It'll turn into a vicious cycle. See what I mean? I was picking up my phone and I dropped it. Sorry if you heard that, chat. My, I never expected you to put forth such an eloquent counter-argument. I am a genius and a logical man. Be that as it may, I have my reasons. Reasons that I, unfortunately, cannot ignore. 
Is it your whole, like, bipolarness? I don't know what to call it exactly. Bipolar is the first thing that comes to mind. Nevertheless, I shall succeed in all my endeavors, be they magical or military, and I shall do it all in my own way. <laughs> All right, rank C, let's go. Another support down. How's it going? You're the commander I've heard about, the one lifted up from the common folk and given authority. Some folks say you aren't even from the Empire. Regardless, your being here is good news for me. Means a rough and tumble lady like myself might actually end up with a promotion someday. 